on the first one. Welcome to the back nine of Bill and Payne Stewart Golf Course in Springfield, Missouri. This is hole 10, par three, 172 yards. If you haven't seen the front nine, uh, those are on my channel as well. Go back and see uh, where I'm at. But right now I'm sitting at 12 over. So this first shot, uh, I think it was a six, five iron because I was going into the wind and I hit a huge slice. So we'll tee up for another one. This one also goes to the left and I get really unlucky and I hit just the corner of this car path, but I'm still in bounds. So this is a very awkward shot. I'm trying to, I have to accelerate my hands so fast. I have no room for my back swing. That's about as far as I could get it. I maybe could have clubbed up a little bit and less loft, but, and you can see there's, there's some great short game right there. I'm able to move this for my seven. Make that an eight an eight on a par three. So not a great start. Um, that kind of, that kind of got out of hand pretty quick. So here's hole 11 par four, 385 yards. It's, uh, it's uphill. Uh, so it's a pretty straight hole. So really the only thing you're fighting is distance here. The wind was, was picking up. Um, it, it, you can hear it right there. So I'm, I'm going for this, uh, low three wood. And I don't really hit it that low, but um, I did hit it straight, and we're, we're in the fairway, good distance. This will be my seven iron in. It felt good, but it wasn't enough. It was just in front of the green. I don't know if uh, distance-wise or if I, I caught it heavy. I think I hit it pretty okay. And here's another example of poor short game uh, decision. I should have hit a bump and run there instead of trying to go try to go elevated. There was nothing in front of me. I would have had a lot better chance for par if I didn't hit it all the way back here. So here's this putt. Okay, Reed, distance okay. It's just putting myself in that situation to make that putt uh, is not good. So I, I hit that for bogey. So hole 12, 441 par four. Uh, it goes downhill and then you can see that pit, th that valley, it goes straight up. Uh, just one bunker on the left, pretty easy green to hit. This, this started right and it didn't end up going that far left which is a good thing as far as swing goes. I, I'm hitting a lot less of a slice than I have in the past couple years. Yeah, so that one was just heavy. Hit right there. It's trying to fade this way. So then I, I tried to do a hero shot. Uh, you can hear me saying I, I hit, tried to hit a fade and hit it that way. I ended up here, this is for par. This ball kind of just knuckles and bounces in front of the green here for bogey. Once again, uh, I've got I've got too much loft. It is uphill, but all I need to do is bump and run it, and it flies way too far. This will be for double. This is a really hard putt. You can see where I'm aiming. This is going to sweep left to right the entire way. And I gave it a little too much. This is for a seven, another, another great hole. Oh my gosh. And so that'll be an eight. Call that a nine. It hit my foot. Technically, I should take a penalty for that, but I think a nine. We'll, we'll leave it at nine. 
uh, Hole 13, 336 par 4. This one's pretty simple, pretty short. Uh, this tree right in front of the green can give you trouble, but for the most part, it should be okay. So this ball doesn't sweep as much as, I, as this shot tracer really says. It was okay. I mean, it is in the rough, but I think I had I had a nine iron in here, and the wind. As soon as I get ready to hit it, it just gusts, and it carries my ball uh, about a club a club length past the hole. I felt the wind. I thought it'll be okay, and I went ahead and executed the shot. But what I really should have done is stepped away and say, "Okay, wind's blowing now. I need a club down." So I try and just knock this one out of the tree. And then this will be for par. That's about as far as I could get it out of that tree. That one's gonna land okay. Kind of went to the left and it's gonna roll down this, uh, this green, but this is for Bokey. And this will this will end the hole with a six. There's been a couple of decisions in this back nine that I could have done better. So, hole 14, 390 par four. This is a really cool hole. It's a dogleg right um, with a really small green, but the, where I'm aiming, so this this dead tree nearest is really where you want to aim. That fairway kicks that way that far, so. And this is about as perfect as you want it. This will land right in the fairway, be right in the middle of the fairway. You could even go a little more right if you have some more distance, but this is just an eight iron in. And this one is gonna kick left. Distance was right. I, I might have might have hit a bit of a slice. That was exactly where I wanted to land it. I wasn't expecting it to stop that much. I, I caught it pretty clean, but this will be for par and just short. I'm not sure how, even when I watch this back, I'm not sure how that putt was short, uh, but that'll be a bogey. Not a bad not a bad hole though. I think the last couple holes uh, made some bad decisions that, that hole I was able to pull it together. So hole 15, uh, this is just an uphill par four, not much to it, no bunkers, so. Um, definitely, definitely easy to score on here. You have a blind spot, but really, you know where you want to aim. You want to aim just to where you can see that tip of the tree and where the other tees go towards. This ball skied a little bit. It still went straight, but it's going to leave me some distance into the green. So I thought I chunked this. It turns out I hit it pretty well. It was just, it, it just, there was a lot of mud up there, so I got a face full of mud. Um, just, just left me a little bit of a chip in here. So this would be for par. This was, this is the decision to go putter here because my short game, I wasn't really feeling confident in it. So I wanted to, to try old Texas wedge, and it bounced a little too much, and I lost lost a little more speed than I thought. But that's okay. That's for that's for bogey. This putt should move right to left. Got dirt. I've got grass all over my putter from that shot. And I read it really well, just not enough. Once again, not putting enough on the putt. Hole 16 is a 356 par four. Once again, you have a, you can't see the fairway from the tee box, but it's pretty straightforward. It's better to be right than left. 
Uh, and once again, just a, just a small green with no bunkers. That wasn't the best drive. Um, here's a five iron. I hit this five iron really well, and I actually almost hold it, um, oh, yeah. but then it it rolled, rolled past. So this is for birdie. I hit that. I hit that way too solid. I thought I was going to go to the right more or to the left more, but hey, that's a par as we go to hole 17. It's par three, real simple par three. It's a bigger green than uh, some of these other holes. Uh, and it's got that bunker on the left. And this is definitely the the biggest slice I had uh, of the round. Uh, it hits this tree, but it's in the driving range. So I took my chances, ran out there, knocked it on. I didn't want, I don't know if it was out of bounds or not, but I played it as a hazard. Uh, hit it onto the green here, uh, putting for par. It's actually a pretty good, pretty good chip shot. And I read it once again, but I have to say it again. I hit it short. I didn't give it enough. So that's for bogey. And we're on to hole 18, uh, par five, 479 yards. It's downhill all the way until probably 100 yards or so from the green and then it goes slightly uphill so it's a pretty it's a pretty easy hole to to end on <laughs> you usually do that on the first one right just so for the 18 Classic, just whiff. So at this point, I know I'm going to score high, and this this might be not the hero shot that I should take, but it worked out going through this tree. Clips the tree a little bit, but that's okay, and it, it went pretty far down there. I didn't get my third shot on camera, but this is for birdie. It hits the middle of this green and it just goes. I, I knew better than this. It needed to land it closer to me. So from off the green, this is for par. I'm getting a little frustrated at this point. I know this isn't my best golf, but uh, I, this is my first round in 2022. I need to cut myself some slack. And also from the time I'm recording this, from when I did this video, I've already learned so much and improved a lot about my game. So um, I'm hoping this 99 will be the highest score you guys ever see from me. Uh, if not, I mean, that would, be, you know, that's golf. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to have a lot of really cool content. So on this round recap, eliminating, eliminating the hero shots. That also, that also means, hey, uh, play smarter, uh, make smarter decisions. So in the future, we'll hope I can do that. <laughs> so definitely subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.